Okay, so I asked you to write down observational study and I asked you to write down an experiment. One, t the three other words that I want you to add to this are in an experiment, um, we have a treatment group and we have a control group. And the treatment group, not a lot of times we talk about experiments in terms of a new medicine that's coming out or, you know, something that's going to cure your asthma or something that's going to cure your rheumatoid arthritis. And so one of my students in my last class brought up Grey's Anatomy. Be honest, you watch, Grey, you watch Grey's Anatomy and you know where Dr. Grey, Dr. Grey tried to change the experiment so a particular person got the Alzheimer's medicine who was supposed to be in the control group. I don't know, you, you must not be keeping up, Brandon. I knew exactly what she was talking about, but it was a long time ago. But our treatment group obviously is going to get whatever changes, um, and the control group stays the same. Now, the control group is going to get a, cl a placebo. You want to write this down. A placebo or false treatment. The placebo is going to take the place of whatever the treatment is. So if you're trying to determine whether an asthma medication is working or not, you're, you're going to pick 100 people and you can't say, well, U50 take this medicine and U50 don't take the medicine because that's not going to, that's obviously the ones with the medicine are who are getting the treatment you would have to have a medicine for all 100 of them. However, one of them is, is just going to be useless. It's not going to make a difference where you have your medicine that goes to the treated group. It's interesting, however, because most of us in here should have heard of the placebo effect. Ever heard of that before? Well, the, no, the placebo effect is if you have asthma and you are in the control group, however, they ask you to record whether your asthma gets better or not, and you convince yourself that you're better even though you don't have the medicine, right? You're, you're still pretending each day to take the new medicine. It happens constantly that we convince ourselves in our brains that whatever we're doing is making a difference. With what? Um, I don't, I'm not a psychology teacher, so I don't know exactly what the word is, but I am 100% sure that it is possible for the placebo effect to work. In fact, my last class, I, I said this, and they um, they just kind of laughed at me, but in, in all seriousness, I know you're going to lie and say this doesn't work, but if you're standing outside, and it's 20 degrees, and you're freezing, and you close your eyes, and you envision yourself laying on a beach with the sun beating down, and you can feel the sand in your toes, I promise you will get warmer. You will get warmer. As I said, I know that most of you aren't going to agree with me, but you can convince yourself that you are getting warmer or colder or however you want it's possible to do. All right, so now we're going to decide, state whether each situation represents an experiment or an observational study. It says to find 200 students, half of whom who participated in extracurricular activities, and compare their grade point averages. That's observational. Because we are not doing anything, we are just looking at what has already occurred. That's observational. If we find 200 people, we randomly split them into two groups. 
and one jogs two miles per day and the other does not jog at all. We're changing something about their lifestyle, right? I, I said it wrong in my first class and they were laughing at me. Um, but P90X, right? You've, you've seen the commercials. You've seen the commercials. It's amazing. I've gone from doing absolutely nothing and now I work out 90 minutes a day, six days a week, and I'm getting in shape. Wow. Can you imagine how that happened? It's, it's, I love to watch the commercials for the workout videos because people are always, they are always so proud of themselves. They are always so proud of themselves, even though, you know, imagine you actually do exercise and you get in shape. It's, it's a, it's amazing how that works. All right, what about find 80 college students, half of whom took a statistics course in high school, and compare their grades in a college statistics course? What do you think? Is that observational or experimental? That one's observational, yes, because did you tell them they had to take the statistics course in high school? No. You just looked at that to see whether it happened or not. You didn't make any changes. Could you set up an experiment for that? You could create an experiment to see whether it was going to make a difference or not. They want you to choose here whether or not you should use an observational study, an experiment, or a survey. If you want to test a treatment for a disease, that's going to be an experiment. If you want to find opinion on a presidential election, that's going to be a survey. If you want to find out if 10 years of smoking affects your lung capacity, you're going to do an observational study because are you going to want to have somebody smoke for 10 years? Like, are you going to set up an experiment? Really? It's so, it's really interesting. Um, I mean, it's just like steroids. When they first came out, because we don't we don't study drugs a long time, they really hadn't done the experiments that they needed. Like there was a Sports Illustrated that was like steroids, the best thing that's ever happened to sports. <laughs> Never mind that it's gonna kill you and mangle you. But um, it is it is just. We have to be careful in that department. What if 200 randomly selected high school students rate their opinions regarding the new lunch rules from one totally disagree to five totally agree? That's a survey. All right, so we have one more thing that I want you to put in your notes. You need to be able to distinguish between correlation and causation. Correlation between two events is when they are related. Correlation means the two events are related. Causation means one event is shown to be the direct cause of another event. It is a lot harder to prove causation. We show correlation all the time. But causation means it happens every single time. Studies have shown that students are less energetic after they eat lunch. That's just correlation. If I lift weights, I can make the football team. 
Every single person who lift weights is going to make the football team, Max. No. no. So that is correlation. When the sun is visible, we have daylight. That's causation. Every single time. And when I study, I will get an A. Because you can, a lot of people can study, but does that mean they're going to get an A? And the most important one, if I'm in Miss Baker's class, do I have homework? Yes. That is causation. It is causation because it is always going to happen. Please make sure that you do both pages. You have some on exponential functions, and then you have a few from what we went over today. Have a great day.